So hello everyone, welcome to the lecture 5 of our recursion playlist which is on the Tower of Hanoi. So let's see to it what it says and let's code it and we'll understand what how we can do it and what's the time complexity and everything about ins and outs. So let's start. And before starting, if you're new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe our channel and be the part of our growing family. We'll grow together and learn together. So let's start. So here's the problem of Tower of Hanoi. So uh, let me just explain it to you the input and output. So let's say if n equals to 1 and you have this three towers a, b and c, right? And the constraint is that you cannot put a, a length of uh, uh, what? A lower length. You cannot put a lower length uh, first and then you place the uh, like the greater length and this is not possible. You have to always maintain the largest length and then you can put any length uh, of uh, disk here which is of lesser length from its uh, disk which is uh, is it on line above right so as you can see for n equals to 1 so move d1 from a to c as you can see that there is only one disk so we can just move this disk to here and an answer will be solved so the so actually the problem is that to move our disk from a to c every disk considering the thing that you cannot place a a larger length disk on a lesser length on a lower length disk so let's see it for n equals to 2 as you can see and what we have to do that the first disk first disk will move to c will move to b right and you can see this so you have to find the minimum number of ways right then the disk 2 can move uh, will still at 1 and at the step 2 the disk 2 which which was at a can move, can go to c right disk 2 a to c and then the final step the <coughs> Uh, the disk 1 which was at B, disk 1 which was at B will go to C and you will get a uh, problem done. Like uh, we've moved all the disks from A to C in 3 steps. So the answer here is 3. And for n equals to 1, the answer is just one step, right? So for n equals to 1, it goes to 1. So let's see for the another test case that is n equals to 3. And as, as you can see, the steps it involves 7 steps, right? First, you have to go move the disk 1 from A to C right like this uh, let me just write down the steps for you so here are the steps for the step 1 we move the disk 1 from A to C and in the step 2 we move the disk 2 from A to B as you can see and the step 3 I move the disk 1 from C to B in the step 4 I need I remove I move the disk 3 from A to C right and in the step 5 as you can see the disk or disk 1 is moved from b to a b to a and in the sixth step in the fifth step it is disk 1 from b to a and in the sixth step it is disk 2 from b to c and finally we can see that in the seventh step we were able to achieve the towers in this uh, from larger to the lower length right considering the constraint that you cannot place a larger tower on a lower tower length right and this steps and this uh, and for n equals 3 it involves seven steps so uh, pause this video here and try to down try to write down a recursive code by yourself and then we'll continue okay so if you're able to down write down this video code then it was good and fine but i'll explain it to you so what we, what we can do here is so what we are doing what are we doing here is that we have this n minus one disk that is this one and this one and we are moving it to a to b a to b using which which tower as the auxiliary one auxiliary auxiliary means taking the help of that tower so i am moving two disk that is n minus one disk from a to b using c so that's what i have written here n minus one disk from a to b using the c the middle one is the auxiliary tower right as you can see here now what i have done he, I have the nth disk here at the tower A as you can see the nth disk here at the tower A and what I did I moved this from A to C recursively right that's what I have written move the disk nth from A to C in the second line of code so what's happening after that after that what is happening is that we are moving n minus 1 disk again this is n minus 1 disk again from B to C using the auxiliary array as A that's what I have written move the n minus 1 disk from b to c using the auxiliary array a. So 
so that was the intuition that was the pseudo code we just have to write the things which we are doing in a recursion as code right so this is the code that we can write for our tower of Hanoi and as you can see that for n equals to 1 as you can see in the dry run for n equals to 1 what we were doing what we were doing if for n equals to 1 we are just moving the one disk that was present at a to c so that's what i have written that's what i have written print uh, 1 from a to c and for rest of the part as we explained in the pseudo code that n minus 1 a to b using the recurs using the auxiliary c and the we move the n disk from a to c as we discussed here and from n minus 1 b a c how am i writing that i'll explain it to you once more so for n equals to 3 what we were doing we were moving the first the n minus 1 disk what were the n minus 1 disk that was the first two disk right to the which place to the place a to b using the auxiliary c so that was i have written a to b using the auxiliary c and what was that uh, two disk that was this one and this one right the first two so but that's equal to n minus 1 right so what we did then then we did that the 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 third disk that was present here the last disk that was present here at this a we moved it to direct to c that's what i have written here and we did the recursive call again and again for the remaining disk that is happening here and then finally what we did we remo we removed the n minus 1 disk as you can see in this step 4 from b to c using the auxiliary sc and for this two is again calling the recursive call for the one disk and it's again happening the same thing as i have described in this code right so let me give so that's the code here but let me draw it for you in the more deeper manner so that you can understand and it is must it is a must to do practice for you guys so that you do the same thing for any question three in your uh in your copy as in pen and paper or else you have to do it for four then only you will get the understanding that how is this thing happening right so okay so for th tower of an i3 comma a comma b comma c so for what we were doing you were moving the n minus one disk from a to c using the auxiliary part b it further calls to the uh, n minus one disk that is two minus one a and it calls a b and c right as you can see here where is that a b and c right so first it was a c b a c b first it was a c b as you can see a c b and then it called for n minus 1 where the auxiliary disk was in between right so the auxiliary disk was in uh, between the c right so it calls for abc and then we have this this the first step happens here then it again call for moving the this for this function we just move the second disk from a from from this uh, source to destination and the source is a and the destination is b for this disk for this function call so we move that disk move to from a to b as you can see this this is our step two and then we for the last uh, last function call for this uh, for this thing is tower of n minus 1 c a and b how is this happening let's see for a b c i was calling b a c right so for a c b i will call b a c right yeah so for a b c i will call c a b Anna, what are we doing here that a b c i'm calling then b a c right so for a c b a c b that is what is happening the auxiliary is coming at this at this at this stage right right so again this auxiliary will stand here c and a and c so it will be a and b c a b right so that's what happening here it is calling for c a b and then what we have to do we have to again move if it's n equals to one then we have to do from source to destination that is source is c here and destination will be using the auxiliary so that goes our third step here similarly this was the first branch right this was the first branch so there goes our second branch for n minus two for b a c and we do the recursion again for t h one b c a and we move since it is one we move from source to destination that is b to a b to a and move the one disk one disk from Mm, from where b to a right so there there goes our step four right okay hmm. so initially one was one was here at b at b and we moved it to a and you can see here that the b, b here is not present and it is present at a similarly this two b comma a comma c will have this move the inner disk from source to destination that was b to c so we move the second disk that was 
at b we moved it to c right and then again the final call that again for n minus 1 as i told you as i explained you here in this case abc becomes bac then bac will become abc right okay so move 1 from a to c and there goes our final step that it was 3 is was 4 it is 5 6 and 7 so we have i just show you the dry run hope this problem is very clear to you now but it is a must do thing that you run it yourself for n equals to 3 as well as for n equals to 4 in using pen and paper that would be give you a much clear understanding right so what will be the time complexity so for as you can see for t equals tower I mean, for n equals to 3 i'm making two recursive called t of h2 ab acb and t of h2 bac so if you draw the recursive tree so for n equals to 3 i'm making two recursive call and then for two i'm making again two recursive call until and unless it is reaching one right until and unless it is reaching one so what so i am using two power n for each and every what is the length of this tree n right and at each level i'm i am having two choices i am expanding in the power of two so it will be two power n time complexity right okay so let's see the code now so let's run this code now so i have already written this code here for n, n equals to 2 and tower of hanoi function as an abc and as you can see for n equals to 1 i have written the base case that you just have to move from uh, if you have just one disk that just move from this source to destination and that's it you'll get an answer for else for rest of the cases you need to recover for n minus 1 as acb that moving n minus n disk from a to b using auxiliary c and the, and then do the recursive calls until and unless you reach the hit the base cases and then finally move the all the n minus 1 disks from b to c with the auxiliary a and if you just run this code it will exactly match our dry run which i just explained you in this first example so let me just uh, take you to the first example again so this was it right for n equals to where is it yeah, this was the case for n for n equals to 2 the answer was coming 3 and what were the steps involved that i was moving d disk 1 from a to b disk 2 from a to c and disk 1 from b to c and you can see the output is coming exactly one from a to b disk 2 from a to c and one from b to c you can run this for n equals to 3 and 4 as per your convenience so that's it about the tower of hanoi code and the approaches the recursive approach as well as there is one more approach that is iterative that i'm not gonna tell you here because uh because that's the main logic of recursion. We use the recursion to solve the complex problems. As you can see, you can solve this code in line, just three lines. But if you see the iterative approach on the, like, uh, let me Google, Google it for you. So this is the GFG article, which actually explains the iterative code. And as you can see, since we are recur using recursion, that is inbuilt, we are using stack. And obviously they have used stack here but as you can see the lines of code are so long and it is much difficult to understand in one side right so i'm just explaining you that why we have introduced recursion why the in in recursion was introduced in the data structures topics so that we can uh, we can solve the complex problems in much easy steps right we just have to run for some base cases for a small input test case and the rest thing we have to leave it on the leap of faith right that it will work for the large cases also and that is happening i just ran it for n equals to 3 for you and i and i write the wrote the code but if you run it for n equals to 4 or let's say n equals to 100 then it will give you the answer right so that's what the recursion the power of recursion here is so okay let's meet in the uh in the next lecture of uh, lecture 6 i guess the josephus problem and we'll continue this playlist and uh, this is the SD sheet you can take help with to uh, practice the problems as well as the video link will be there for you guys just to be a more convenience and I will add all the problems as soon as the co as I cover the all the topics in my uh, YouTube channel till then keep learning stay connected keep growing and bus bye bye